Hello Internet people, my name is Robert and this is an Elementor tutorial for beginners. I'll show you all the basics within 10 minutes. It will be over quicker than this guy's career. Give you a lift. No, no, no. Tip sweat punch. Now you need to have WordPress to use Elementor and to use WordPress you need to have a web hosting. So let's take a quick view how Elementor works together with WordPress. In the free version of Elementor, you can update anything inside the page. But your WordPress theme is responsible for the header, footer, menu, and the blog posts. On the other hand, with Elementor Pro, which is the paid version, you have control over pretty much everything on the site. If you want to see all the features of Elementor Pro, then check out the video card somewhere here. Uh, I'll explain that in more detail. Enough talk! So let's go to Elementor and see what's in it. You can get there by installing and activating the plugin and then going to pages and under any of the pages you can select edit with Elementor. If you don't have any pages, just create one. Now let's take a look at the Elementor layout and just uh, have a feel where everything is located. Now let me quickly show you an overview of Elementor and basically if you go to the hamburger menu, this is where you have global settings for the whole thing. So for example, site settings. This is very important that you set up in the beginning the, if you set them uh, correctly once, you can reuse them everywhere on the page, but really useful section. Then you have also the mosaic. If you click on it, you end up on this page, which has all the elements. These are different elements that you can drag and drop on the page like this. You see this is a header, it appears there. Or same thing, if you drag an image here, a huge image appears there. This is the main area where you're going to work uh, and you have, you'll notice you have different sections. So here's basic pro is a paid. So if you have a pro account, then you can use all these sections. Also, you have here different things like general. And also if you install later on some plugins, you will see them here as uh, another section. So different plugins and themes have their own Elementor elements. And a super useful one is the search bar once you get to know all the elements here you'll be able to just search for example image and you can see there's different options here then obviously you have this canvas area any updates you do you do them you will see them here live so you'll see everything that gets updated uh, so that's why what makes it so powerful it's instant feedback if you do something wrong you'll see it here as well so you don't have to go to the bed like this all my calculations are wrong even in my dreams Next, let's take a look where you will spend most of your time. That's the elements tabs. Then if we dive into the elements, so you have quite basic elements like, let's say, uh, an image. If I drag and drop it here, humongous, you're able to, you have three tabs. In content tab, you usually you set what's inside that element. So for this one, I could use an image. I can change it, upload a new image and use it there. Also, I can choose the size and also how it's aligned. But this really depends on the element itself. They each are different. So uh, for example, if I show you another one like uh, the video, you see that it looks very different in different settings as well. But all of them have these three tabs. So content style and advanced. So in the style tab, you can adjust the style of the specific element like icon and font color and the spacing of this element. Hey, if you like this video so far, consider hitting the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And in advance, you can tweak the design even further. For example, you can add a bit more margin or padding all at the top or left or right. You can set here the background, color, borders if you need, positioning, also responsiveness. For example, you could hide this on desktop, but keep it on mobile. So it's very useful in that sense. And then some of the elements also have a custom tab here. It really depends on the element. Clint, how's the tutorial so far? With all due respect, sir, you're beginning to bore the hell out of me. Now, Elementor has a specific structure to build websites that you need to be aware of. First is a section. Inside the section, you can have multiple columns. Columns also dictate how a website will look on mobile, so they get stacked up on top of each other. And inside a column, you can have multiple elements. These vary a lot, and that's where the magic actually happens. 
So for example, let's use heading as an example. I'll drag and drop it here. The way Elementor is structured is that you have a section, which is the big one here. And you can see that you can edit the section when you right click on this element and you see edit section. Also, you can duplicate it, copy, paste, and just the uh, usual stuff. Another thing how you can tell apart that it's a section, you get this blue ribbon thingy because you can add more another section above it like this. So that's what indicates it's a an section and you can move it by clicking on the six dots and then on the canvas you can move. Right now I only have one so that's why there's nothing and you can delete the whole section. Then there's a second layer which is the column. So you can add more than one column. So when I right click on this icon, this gray icon here, I right click on it, I can add another column. So now you can see I have here one and another one here. So now I can actually have a header here and then let's say I want to add some text. I'll just drag it here and I have a text section. Now it overlaps with the menu right now, but you can fix that easily by hiring a few Russian sailors. And then you have, so you have the section, then you have column, which is with this gray icon, and then you have the element itself. And it's usually this pen icon. And when you right click on the element, you can see which element it is. So edit heading or edit column here. So that's really important because I think that's in the beginning for me, that was the hard part. Like, oh, I got really uh, distracted by these. And you add elements inside a column. So for example, if I want this text, I could grab it from this pen and just drag it to underneath this heading. But it's inside this column. So you see, I still have two columns. Arnie, does the elementor structure make sense? Who the hell are you? Then you have this section where you can actually just add certain structure. So you, you can already pre-select. So for example, you could have a three column section. And anytime you need, you can also drag it like this and change how it looks like. So for example, I want to have 20 by, uh, let's say 50. And then the last one is 30. So they're different sizes, but I can still just add elements to these. To make things faster, you can always use Elementor templates that you can then customize. You can also use, you have this folder icon here. If you click on it, you have also templates. These ones that you see here are the defaults from Elementor. You can see some of them are pro. So what you could do, you can insert the whole thing here if you want to. Now you do need to sign up with Elementor, but it's just a sign up and it's free. And then you can use some of these. You can also use just blocks. So we just saw pages. And then you have also my templates if you save any. At this point, you're probably thinking, get out of here. Get out of here, man. And you can always save your template by coming to here uh, and clicking on this arrow and save, save as a template. Also, anytime you do an update, you should click on this update so that it saves everything and it's visible on actual website. Because right now, this is, this is just like a preview. Another quite tricky part is the responsive uh, view. So, so anytime you want to see how this looks like on any other device than desktop, you would come here, responsive mode, and you select mobile. Then it changes. You can see it's mimicking a phone here but what's cool is that you can actually let's say this one i'm gonna edit this text block in the advanced tab you have this icon so mobile so any changes i do now here are going to be applied only to mobiles now let's say you want to do something special to this uh, mobile so uh you could wherever you see this icon that means you can customize it for mobile only you could have border so I'm going to add solid. Let's say I'm going to have that this one is three pixels so quite thick on mobile. But then if I change it to desktop, it's gone. I don't know if you notice, but the whole order is gone. So you can really you can really specify on which device it works and on which it doesn't. So it's useful when some of the elements you want to look a bit different on mobile just because of a smaller screen size. And anytime you get lost, you've done something that uh, you're not sure what just happened. You also have this history tab here. So you can read here what you've done. 
so for example if i go back here let's see uh, there was no changes here but let's see you see the sections change so they went from this structure to this so this is how you can go back in the history very useful if sometimes you make a mistake and you want to go a few steps back and anytime you really get lost, you have this navigator. If you click on it, you will see all your sections, columns, and elements of your on your site. And that way you can select a specific one. So for example, now it selects this one. Or if I select the last one, it will select this one. This is especially useful if one element is covering the other and you can't access the other one. So then this way you can actually see it and access it. Since you now know the basics of Elementor, check out the complete guide to this awesome plugin. That's the first video right here. And in the second video, I'll show you the best free logo makers out there in case you still don't have a logo on your website. That appears just right here.